I'm going to show you the easiest way to shift a manual truck transmission and we're going to start right now. There you go. I'll show you on the yard, okay? What's the right amount of the right amount of fuel that you give it? Stay wide and come back. There you go. See, no. There you go. You see how it's not, you don't feel the, the bump? Because your RPMs are high enough. Right there, you got it really good. Mm -hmm. You got to catch it on the up. When you're downshifting, catch it on the up rather than the down. Because on the on the down, you're gonna feel that bump. When you when you fall, when the engine falls, boom, boom. If you catch it on the up, you're good. But you but you gotta go to 14 though. You wanna make a left turn right here? I think both both lanes turn, so stay on the outer lane. Always use your outer lane, okay? When there's two lanes, use your outer lane. We're gonna make a, a left turn. On the right, stay to the right. On the left, use the outer mode. Right. Exactly, for both. If there's two right lanes turning, you stay on the outer, always. If you're turning right, and there's two lanes turning right, you always stay on the outer. For the left, two left, tur two left turns, you stay also on the outer. So basically the middle. Oh yeah? Yeah, see uh some more practice, right? Yeah. Yeah, I got I got like two courses out of take uh, students on. Yep. Okay. When you say to do so, please stop on the side of the road. Safely come to a stop. Explain to me how will you get out of the vehicle to check something in the back. You gotta explain everything, okay? Everything that you do from this point. I'm gonna check my window, see that no trap is coming. Probably gonna last my bill. No trap is coming. I'm gonna get out, go around this right side of the truck to check the back of my vehicle, come back. sure at the beginning you, you gotta mention your vehicle is parked okay you did it that's fine but you also gotta say it for example I'll make sure I'll, I'll engage my brakes park my vehicle okay I'll leave it in neutral and then you say all that that you say which is really good okay and then um, if you need to have if it's an emergency and you got to put your safety triangles at the back of your truck you take your safety triangles you know and you put it in your chest as you walk walk to the car so you know reflective I'm not going to If you're, if you're in a highway and there's no cars coming, what would you do? If there's no cars coming? 
you're on a highway. I mean, there's no, there's no uh, stoplights. So the car is going to continuously, endlessly coming. <laughs> I'm a slow, I'm a slow roll with my, uh, my four ways on. I'm slowly rolling until I'm able to get over safety. So you travel on your shoulder, right? Right. Yes, that's what you do. You got to travel on your shoulder. On a street, on an avenue, whatever. You got to travel on your shoulder before you get it back into the lane, okay? There you go. Build up your speed and then you get in your lane. Good job. We're gonna make another right at the light. Okay. This street right here, keep going straight. Imagine that's a railroad crossing. How will you approach it? Railroad, a railroad crossing? Yeah, how will you approach it? What would you do? I would have broke down and turned and killed them both ways. I can't stop. I can't stop. I can look both ways. And I would have slowly went over. Would you go to fourth? Would you? I'm in my lowest gear. Third. Third? That's fine. Would you go to fourth? Crossing the road? From three to four, would you go to fourth gear? Slow down with the brake. 12 seconds later. From three to fourth gear, crossing no. this, the road. No, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't uh, shift. shift. Okay. That's the key word, okay? You can't shift. You gotta tell them that you will look both ways and you cannot shift while crossing the road. Right. If I'd, if I'd seen it, I'd have broke my truck down the third. Okay. And I'd have told them I am approaching the railroad. I'm looking both directions. I'm seeing a train. There's no horns. I cannot shift going across the railroad. There you go. Say all that, you're good. What gear is that? <laughs> I think that's seven or six, oh, right? I still got it. Yeah, yeah, it's okay. Surprised you didn't stall the engine. <laughs> what gear is that? That's eight? That's eight. Yeah, let's drop to seven. Yeah, but you can go now, don't worry. You can do it now. Straight up. Oh, the splitter was down? <laughs> it's okay. Let's go to six. There you go. We're gonna go back to the school, okay? Stay on that gear for now. You can stay on it. Yeah, don't 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 put the splitter off. You can leave it down. That's still six, remember. You're only gonna get off six once you go to neutral. Right now that's six. Keep going. Right? Go to neutral then five. Now you got off six. There you go. Stay wide and come back up. Good job. Give it gas so you don't roll back. There you go. It's okay, the door's gonna open, I think. There you go. Good job, man. You did good. Practice a little more and that's it. Oh, you got time, you're good. See, so you did better on your, on your um, parallel parking today. Let's come back around, let's put it back in the, into the spot here, and I'll get the other guy to come. What time is it? Um, it's 1 40. Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll take him on a short run. I'm gonna pick my grill. I mean, take your time. I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna, I'm gonna, to the, I want to I mean, I want you to explain it to me more, but I gotta put my grill on. Yes, I got you. Stay next to the phone here. If you enjoyed this video, remember to hit the subscribe button on this page so you can get more videos like this in the future. And besides that, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.